In our health cast today, Florida lags behind the nation in policy efforts to prevent and reduce tobacco use. This all according to a brand new report released today by the American Lung Association. The annual State of Tobacco Control Report did find that the Sunshine State has made progress in reinstating local controls over tobacco products, though. We did see that local communities um, did regain some authority to pass local ordinances um, are related to smoke-free beaches and parks. Um, we've seen some tremendous um, growth in local communities choosing to enact these types of uh, public health protections. But I think more broadly, um, there still re remains um, some preemption, um, some restrictions that local communities are unable to pass other related uh, tobacco control issues. The American Lung Association in Florida was able to protect funding for tobacco-free efforts, including those dedicated to tackling the youth e-cig epidemic that is definitely in our state. Another report was released today as well, this one by the CDC. It found that women and older adults in general are more likely to use sleep medication overall. The CDC says roughly 8% of adults reported using sleep meds every day or almost every day. The agency defines sleep medication as any prescription or over-the-counter medication to help fall or stay asleep. All right.